Tick. What's up, Hectic 99? My name is Josh Jonas. Um, 18 years old, play center at Hudson Park High School. Run now to join Jonas. Jonas now inside outside. Great work there by him on the inside too. Uh... Who I look up to most in rugby is probably Sonny Bill Williams. Mostly because of uh, his style of play, the type of man he is and the type of work he does. Uh, off, off the field for his community and in New Zealand. The amount of training we do daily, two hours a day and four sessions a week. My biggest achievement in rugby would probably be making the SA under 18 EPD a training camp. Sacrifices I've made to achieve my goals would probably be waking up early, going for jogs, doing extra training sessions in the morning before school, just going that extra mile when I, when I don't want to. Of course, achieving my own ambitions with, within the team, um, at the Lions, hopefully becoming a Springbok one day. My name is Rodolf Jonas, um, Josh's Jonas' dad. We noticed Josh's talent when they were playing on the lawn with his brothers and cousins. Um, they used to play rugby, cricket and soccer, but we noticed that uh, there was something special when it came to rugby. And then he immediately fell in love uh, with the game, as he is up until today. Uh, the advice that I would give uh, parents who have uh, uh, kids that aspire to uh, become professional uh, sportsmen uh, would be to work hard, uh, believe in themselves and make the right decisions um, at, that would add value to their lives and as also to their rugby careers. My name is uh, James Wynn Stanley. I'm the head coach at Hudson Park. I've been here for six years. I think the thing that stands out for you know, for me with regards to Josh is um, the intensity with which he, he plays the game. You know, he's one of those kids that really just loves playing rugby. Uh, when he takes to the field, you know, he's there, he, he's there to give his best. Uh, and that's the thing that really stands out for me. I think the big thing is, is teamwork. So what you put in is what you get out. So I've always used the, the law of the harvest uh, in specific to if we all have a shared cause, if we all buy into doing the same thing and we do it to the best of our ability, then, then anything is possible, you know, and I think we've come across as underdogs over the years, but through this approach that mentality has changed uh, and all that's happened is that our challenges got greater. We've just aimed our sights higher each time. The thing I hope for Josh is, I suppose, specific to all rugby players is to stay fit, is to, is to be able to play the game. With that, I'm, I'm certain that he will, he will go on to, to bigger things. Um, there's so much evidence of him as a, as a schoolboy, being a standout player. And he's gone to provincial week three weeks, uh, three years, sorry, consecutively, and this would be his fourth year going to to provincial week. I think the thing I want Josh to bring with him is is to remember his roots. You know, he, he's come from humble humble background. Um, he's achieved notable success in the schoolboy game, um, and, and throughout that, just to always come back to to this, because you know the sky's the limit, and one day he might actually might become a superstar. And this is exactly the grounding and the reference point which will help him stay on track and reach his potential.